What's going on YouTube? It's Bam Wagon Bam here with D Wagon. We are reacting to something called O Block. It's done by Andrew Cullenham or something like that on Channel 5. Obviously, these are the ones that started Drill as a whole. So obviously, we got to check it out, man. we got to check out the Drill Fathers and where Drill originated from. Um, like, how can we not? How can we not? So you lot, tell us what you think about yourself in the comments. And yeah, man, let's run it. Party. I snuck a night up in that party. I just fucking built the party. I put weed in the stink. <laughs> Photo, but fast. Wait, goofy, do that crash. We gon' spin and spin again. We gon' hit our last friend. We gon' show him we ain't playing. We gon' leave him where he stand. Drill out my boy. That's really, yeah, that's all I wanna be a successful. Deep in life and that, you know. Right, big goof ass, man. Check it out. Give me money, nigga. Give me no fifty k. Hey, no. Since you where you got to throw up Obla. I don't know how to do that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, We're here in the uh, Parkway Garden Bro, some old block. in Chicago, otherwise known as O Block. <laughs> uh, 24 building complex it's on the city's south number. side. It's where Michelle Obama grew up, and it's also where drill music began around 10 years ago. This is Boss Top. That's a 10 years ago. He's capping, bro. Drill's definitely been out. For, for, um, it definitely came out before 2012. Come on, like 2010. Yeah, probably. 2011. He's been here for a super long time, so he's gonna take us back to the very beginning. Oh my God. Bro, I was right a vet. You in one of the gutterest building in the block. Yeah. This motherfucker be the last building he cleaned up. Oh, it's a roach. See y'all in the projects. Wait! This is Pete. Did you download Grammarly? If you wanna ace this paper. Did you roach? Yeah, but... But... A film Love Service might have come out in 2012. But that wasn't his first song. That's a baby roach. I said he got caught. It's gonna get bigger. That's gonna get bigger. Smoking the ropes. They don't take care of the rent. This bitch be dirty as hell. This bitch be dirty. I'm from this building. Bro, I'm from this building. Listen, this bitch dirty as hell. Well. These bad is bro. But do you know what it is? Like, because there's so much blocks, yeah, it will look nice built up. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. Or like refurbished. Yeah, but no one's gonna do that. Just like a prison. <laughs> but he probably is a prison, man. I'm gonna piss in the hallway and on the elevator. Alright, sit down. My mom in the back. I got you, Tom. I'm going to piss in the hallway. I still won't touch the buttons on the elevator. I'm straight knuckles. Because you think there might be pee on it? Spit, pee, ink. I used to do all types of shit to the elevator. I ain't taking no shit though, man. True that! True that! Come on, come on! Thank you, my nigga. Thank you, boy. Thank you, boy. True that! True that, man! Let's get the hood, man. My nigga, true that! I had to put 1080p. Hey, yeah, bro. Hey, everybody, what's up? How's it going? How you doing, man? What was it before? Huh? What was it before? 480. Yeah. Eee. GDK, 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 GDK,
But yeah, um, these men got their own shops within the gates. The hell does that mean? Their own shops. Like, like, like their own corner shops inside oh, the block. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's all entertainment. You see what I'm saying? It's all for so what's the, like the people. Move out the like, cause like nah, music didn't. nowadays is all about like controversial shit, drama. Drama really makes money. Back to that breaking news live from Chopper 2, a mass shooting, at least six people shot. This all happening at 65th and King Drive in Parkway Gardens. So what was it like growing up? In Bro, Trench. who the hell, yeah, sees snow and be like, I'm going to go kill some people today. Snow is like just like a nice thing to see. Snow tends to be like a pure thing to see. Like, yeah. That's what like represent like Man -way comfort, up. happiness, bro. I want to kill some niggas today. I'm like, whoa. Couldn't see some niggas. I can't lie. What's called Atlanta. What's good? That's been really bad still. So, yeah, because, been every, because all of like the niggas from like these ends are moving to Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. They said it's good. It's, 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 what's called? It's, it's become more dangerous. It's became more dangerous than old Chicago. Now. No, shut up. That's what, he's, that's what he said. Like, the more, you're more likely to get robbed, stabbed, and all that crap. I mean, Atlanta now these days. Yeah, because civilians know not to go to Chicago. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Hold on. We had to grow up. We had to really grow up and grow up fast. All that little boy shit went out the window. Everybody around this bitch got PTSD. Everybody around this bitch saying somebody die. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, we had a brotherhood that can nobody come between us. We, we not let nothing happen to none of us. Malo couldn't even beat up OD. We gonna fuck Malo ass up, boy. You better not put your hands on folks, boy. Fuck them, pull a pipe out. Hold on. And it's the same way. Like, we got each other, boy. I'm old girl, we ain't got no deities. I'm gonna be the end. What, what can you tell us about the year uh, 2011? See, that proves why, like, why people, like, yeah, it proves why young niggas need their dads in their life. Like me, I got a son, but I know I, I can't tap out on his life, bro, because I know what he needs, bro. Yeah. Like, for real, for real. I am not walking on that little nigga's life. <laughs> I know, you know, but you think, why are you not cool? Like, why are you cleaning a little nigga? It sounds mad, but yeah, I, I don't, you, you don't understand what I'm saying. It's easier said than done, facts. Damn. 2011. I, I, uh, I experienced like my first um, first friend get killed. Uh, my my best friend OD, he died in 2011. In 2011, a Parkway Gardens resident named OD Perry, which Oblock's now named after, was murdered, gunned down just outside oh, the gates of Parkway oh, Gardens. What? That's that's kind of late though. 2011 is late. What do you mean? Because like, there was the times here where we like in school like. The man will be stabbing people or like, or will be getting shanked. And these times I'll be like, yeah, eight. Damn. So, so for him, and he's born in 1991. So, like, so that, so like, so, wow. so therefore he's 20. 20 years old, yeah. Yeah, man. So like, I was, like, like, the man didn't die that young. It was but, just fight. But he like, doesn't look fight right now. But like, there was close to death, innit? Mm -hmm. And that was when I was like 12. So it's like, same thing. But well, RIP, same way. What was one of your favorite memories of you and uh, OD? Man, yeah, oh. Man, I got a lot of them bitches on O. <laughs> you see how his face lit up? Crazy ass doll name. 50, bro. Reminiscing. Reminiscing. Oh, J Money, bro. I was scared of that motherfucker, bro. Oh, oh, uh, like, play with the dog. I'm like, boy, I ain't playing with that motherfucking dog, bro. Y'all tripping. Motherfucker run up on me. Ah, boy, boy, boy. Bitch ass song. Oh, right now to this day, I still don't play with people's dogs. I don't give a fuck if that bitch is a chihuahua. <laughs> what, a bro, get your dog before that bitch die. I'm gang. OD's you scared of a chihuahua? <laughs> no, I feel it. I feel it. Dale Tuka Gregory, uh, a rival gang it. member who lived just a few blocks away on 63rd. There was... The sad years like of my life. Yes. Cause I had just had my first child and everything. I'm really like traumatized. Like I ain't know if was I supposed to crash out or fall back. And my mom used to be talking to me like, man, you got a daughter. Don't be like these niggas, don't die. How yeah. many uh, friends do you think you've lost since then? Over like, 10 days on this game. Two motherfuckers a year. I swear to God. Owen Platoon and motherfucking 11. Trout and Whitey and Twill. We got LA and J Money and motherfucker died in 13. My, my crowd gone. Hey, I gotta hang with up on them. I gotta hang with up on them. I ain't gonna start. When, when, it seemed like when folks died, folks' careers took off. When old passed away, folks took that shit to another level. Chief Keith and Dirt and them came out. 
hey, let this bitch up, you feel me? So it's like... Shortly after Odie's murder, a close friend of his decided to make his first song, which would serve as an O Block anthem, to celebrate the life of Odie and diss Shondale Tuka Gregory. This friend was named Keith Cozart, aka Chief Keith. This bitch get the going up. The block bust I just got out. I get out, I see Patron and White White. Fools got cocky as hell. I'm looking, I'm like, how the fuck y'all let OD be killed? Patron put his head down. He like, man, go take your daughter upstairs. I'm gonna holler at you. I take my daughter up. I remember Inky D them came up there. Deep as hell, everybody coming eight. Happy as hell. Fat Mac and Stu get the showing out. They get the fight. Hey, hey, Fat Mac. You remember I got out of jail, you want Stu start fighting today? Him and Stu get the fight. <laughs> Hey, photo like me, y'all showing out because folks just got out. Uh, uh, Dirk and Reese come see me. You know? Oh, I'm, all right. I'm like, I'm feeling love like a motherfucker. I'm damn. Photo photo come rap with me. I'm like, fuck oh that. How the fuck oh that? You see when the niggas get released from Joe, yeah, them parties are the best parties because they're always massive. Yeah. Like course. even though it's not bad, the longer they're gone, the bigger the party. Yeah. I feel yeah. like it's getting more of a better of like appreciation to them. Yeah, facts. You know, you know they rapping with me. Boom, 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 boom. We talking all us and that bitch crying now. I'm like, damn. I just got out. We all crying right now. I'm like, the fuck? I'm fuck that. We ain't crying. We out. <laughs> it's bad, dude. Do you know what's bad, yeah? The reason it's bad, yeah, because, like, if you niggas nowadays, they don't feel like it's okay to cry. Because the way we was growing up, like, you're not a girl, can't cry. Yeah. But I feel, I feel like that's part of the reason why if you niggas think the way they think. Because, like, they're emotionally, emotionally unstable. Mm. They can't even cry, but, like, them losing someone which is to be what the to, hell to be honest, it's, it's what's good is like it's good to like let, let, let yourself feel and let your emotions out but you don't act on those emotions yeah yeah oh yeah we get out fast in the next two years chief keef would go from a young o-block rapper to one of the most commercially successful With rappers chief in the world yeah i know they're from the same they're from like the same they're, they're not like this but their gangs are like this yeah yeah in-house so it's, it's like, like something going on they got better songs together. I don't even need it. Decliners, they got some called Decline together. I don't like and hate being sober. Damn, that's crazy. Vogue just came from our block now. Thousands of people in front of him screaming. Yeah. Did you hear what they said? Michelle Obama, the president's wife yeah, but at she, the time. She, she, she was from the block. Yeah, but she just got, mar she got married to Obama. That's why she's she, like. Exactly. Someone from the block got married to the president of the United States. That's mad. Yeah, well, let's, let's get married. Example, because man lived in this time, being young and growing older, yeah, I know the impact these men had to, like, the UK industry, even to the streets. Because, like, these are the people, like, we're looking up to ourselves. Yeah. So like to see them doing the madness, I can't even imagine what it would be like to be like his friend, seeing him go just global like that. Yeah, it's crazy. Like my school, they, we was heavily influenced by like Chicago. Facts. Like if you see like the old, like the old tweets, old captions, they're all stuff to do with Chicago. Man. <laughs> And before you knew it, white America was doing the hokey pokey to murder music, and then was <laughs> singing along to the anthems of an actual gang war playing out in real time. For a year, the conflicts of Oblock were a mystery to the general public. That was until one man came around and exposed the inner workings of the world. He's, he's, he's one of the smartest world. men in the world. I'm in college. Smart. 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 Yeah. I say wise. Smart. Wise. It's the same thing. Because like he profited off of something he had nothing to do. Uh, just going to do 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 it was good. Um, do do Nicki Minaj just onto him. Remember mm. they didn't say the story like that. Say Nicki Minaj is onto him because he's saying like Nicki Minaj is not good like representation yeah, 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 yeah. for um, women. Yeah, she's like she was on him trying to kill. I mean trying to kill him. And like you know some hot takes about like Kanye and Drake and stuff like that at the moment. So I was kind of gaining an audience. And I remember, bro, I used to get in trouble at school. I'll get sent home early. And I can't watch DJ Academics. Mm. He'd be calling out the man in like the Sharak or Wolverine or the Grim Reaper. Yeah, he would give, give like, him nicknames. The Baphomet. Oh, I'm like, whoa. No, this he, exam was actually hard. I said Baphomet. I like that one too. Heavily profited off the deaths of 
the Chicago youth. I I hear it. I hear, I hear it's the deaths. What example? If like the white people will probably offer the deaths, because like who do you think owns the funeral homes? But like even so, like I'm he needs sure to, he needs easy. to put he needs to put back into like. Certain areas of Chicago, I feel like, and, and I think that wasn't his like. It's not his attention, so that hoping for the one of them to. Yeah, man. And at the time, he was probably young. I don't know how we were, I don't know how old he is. He's probably, I think he's like around around days. So he, he 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 might have been making the content to troll, and then just it, like it just blew up bigger than what it like mm-hmm. bigger than what you thought it could be. Remember when the drill scene popped off, and I remember doing a video on Keith, and I was like, I love the music. I'm reading the comments, and everyone was like, you're not telling the full story, okay? Because, like, I- I'm going in there, and I'm doing a quick video, and I'm like, yo, all his ops is dead. You know what I mean? He's dissing them. It's over. You know what I mean? Like, these guys, we don't even need to know their names. And everyone was like, well, no, they're not dead. And actually, the guys who... So, so DJ Academics, he, he, he pretty started when he was like, so it says he was born in 1991. So the same age as all of them, not. So he got 21 in because it's 10 years ago, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, but no, I think he started in like 2013, 2014. Because I remember, I remember, I remember playing like um, Call of Duty Ghost at the time. Mm. Who he's dissing? Just kill his guys. They were talking about people like Lil J. They were talking about like the FBG gang. Nigga, fuck T Roy and OD them dead bitches. I'm like, yo, nobody knows these people, like respectively, because they don't have a hit song. Chief Keith is going crazy with hit songs. So I made this page called The Warren Shot Rack, and I started covering basically just constant feuds that were happening. It's your boy DJ Academics, and now information has come to my attention. Now y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I told you, see, 2014. He sounds like a, he sounds like a cartoon character. See? And he was like, do you know how old? He was actually old, like, he was an old, but he's like, see, Shyrax Baphomet, I told you. He was like 23, and he sounds like that. Yeah. That's a vile. <laughs> the Chirac Grim Reaper, well, pretty much because every time you look through his mentions, you see a bunch of dead niggas. CBS Chicago is reporting that a 15 year old boy, aka Little Nick from Six Hunter, was shot multiple times. And it's, it's all out. Um, everybody hates Chris. Let's say he sounds like him. He yeah. was brought to a hospital where he was pronounced dead by the Cook County he Medical doesn't. Examiner. At least he died doing what he loved best. Wow, Someone so. actually told me that these guys actually keep score on killing and coonery within Chirac. The most valuable coon is probably a legit award. The one Chirac never stops, the coonery never fucking ends. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. His Warren Chirac series went viral, and the fans were now aware of the ongoing Chicago gang war, particularly as it pertained to the rap involved how many people do you think have died in the war in Chirac Mi- thousands thousands because Thousand. because if you deep it the beef that is publicized mainly is like from like uh from like chief keith and little dirt to like little j fbg duck yeah but like, there's other blocks in Chicago mm. that's got the same murder rate around. Like, this past weekend, at least 52 people were shot, eight of them killed. In the following years, between 2011 52. and 2020, yeah, 5,518 yeah, people were murdered in Chicago. To the amusement yeah, of Self 20, 5,518 people 5, were murdered in Chicago. To the amusement of self proclaimed Chiracologists who created a Reddit page, which now has over 175,000 members. But I'd never seen a place where life was valued less than Chicago. To this day, I've never been to Chicago because of that. I feel like things bad everywhere. <laughs> things just bad in Chicago because like, this shit came like a movie to people. Like when it first got famous, people started like, it was like we was characters. Like they- Facts, they act like, like, take it from me, bro. I was there when this all blew up, yeah. I took it as like, the Dragon Ball Z episode, bro. Yeah. Literally, because that's how we made it seem. Or be like... Find out on the next episode of... Oh, yeah, man. because these times, we was like... I'll probably like 14... No. Yeah, probably like 14, 13 these times, yeah. Like... I'll be repping like... Like Chief Keith, Lord Dirk side. I'm, I'm like... And one of my best friends, they'll be like the FBG side. It's, it's, it's tight to do. Yeah. It'd be like, like... We actually felt we were like, part of it, but... Obviously, to us it was game, but... To them is obviously they're yeah. actually losing their life at the time. But we're just young. Damn, like you got me look like an assassin. Drilling itself is an energy that once people latch onto that shit and you become invested in the story, it's like a soundtrack to a movie. And and it sounds bad to say, but it's a soundtrack to a movie that you're watching. 
fly. You know, I'm looking at this not like on some voyeuristic like, yo, oh shit, this is like entertaining. I'm like horrified. What I try to do is satire, hoping people could look at them like, that looks ridiculous. These dudes, like, they're disgusting, right? People took it and they ran with it. Everything I thought that people would be like, yeah, that's the one I want. Yo, this is some sick shit they loved. We have a bloodthirsty audience, especially in music. The more people die, when someone gets locked up, their streams are through the roof. Music sales, whew, going through the roof. Trust me. I was a driving force in getting some of these guys, other than Keith, eyes and attention and ears to some of the, their stuff. Did you feel responsible for like inflaming gang tension on the streets by covering things? Hell no. But no, hell yeah. That nigga was part of it because like, <laughs> at the time, everyone was young. They didn't understand the internet. They probably wanted the best name if you've been given. Like, imagine being called like, the Grim Reaper. Yeah, man. Nah, That's a lit title name yeah, to like so, someone that was only wants to kill. Yeah. yeah there's someone that wants to only kill, that is like a sick name. Yeah, for sure. So it'd be like, like, I would say, yeah, I know, because at the end of the day, no one can make you kill someone yes. other than yourself. But he, he, he was such a big part of the drill culture. Like, like at the end of the day, if he don't feel like he's part of the killing, then that means he's not part of the history because the history is killing and dissing. Right. So if he don't feel like he's part of it, that means he's not part of the history at the end of the day, which is the truth, innit? But we all know he's a big part of the history, which means he's a big part of the killing. Facts. Let me tell you this, accountability is hard to take, man. They say, yo, well, you gave people nicknames. And when you gave someone exactly. the nickname of Grim Reaper, some other guy is going to start killing more to try to get that nickname. And I'm like, I don't believe I caused any murder, but if you, if my videos, because they were popular, instigated any two parties, I'll take blame for that. But motherfucker, if you picked up the gun, I'm not taking blame for what you did, right? When I started mm -hmm. covering War in Chirac- No, like, there would've been killings anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool, there would've been killings anyway. I understand that, but like, he's part of history, bro. He has to own it, mm -hmm. but it's a fact. Niggas was dying every day already. I was on Twitter watching people bleed out, and I was like, I can't believe this is, like people getting shot like dogs, bleeding down, everybody filming it. And then you go on social media, and everybody's saying, I'm smoking on the pack. So you gotta take blame for, for you doing that. The parents gotta take blame for not being in the kids' lives. The cops gotta take blame for them basically just like throwing their hands up in the air and saying, let everybody kill each other. So what's he gonna take blame for? He's free. He's, he's saying he ain't taking no blame, basically. Mm. But he's the biggest. He, he was the biggest channel out there. Taking blame for like making it more like publicized. Some of, like some of his stories got more views than the artist's actual songs. Like yeah. crazy. And at the time, like there wasn't a, like obviously there was light, but his videos are getting like two mil views in that. Damn. So like. He's definitely part of the culture, man. Like, these motherfuckers, like, everybody wants an easy scapegoat. Listen, stop acting like a bitch ass nigga and just fight, bro. Leave the pipes alone, fight, 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 fight. Oh, oh it's so fucked up now. It's like a 12 year old just said, ah, I'll pop you. So, another 12 year old. You like, bro, just fight him. Why exactly, you man. You got fist for a reason, man. Use them. So yeah, but well, niggas don't want to fight no more because it's just take a skill. It's like a just in case. Yeah. Because like example, I could have <laughs> example. Someone could have their knife out. Yeah. Yeah, but no, no. Wait, how can I explain this? I could be willing to fight someone, but just in case they have their knife, I'm gonna have mine now. And then once one's got a knife, but I've also called like, using a like one using a gun is like much easier to get a job done. And two, like fighting someone's actually draining, energized. Yeah, like, but en people don't do like that no more. Like yeah, exactly. Like it's, using guns kind of cowardly. It is. It is. Uh, but a lot of Chicago drill rappers have said using a gun don't make you bad. Like, like you knifing someone to death makes you more of a bad man than you shooting someone because yeah, like just can be disrupting yeah. someone and now boom. But now a hundred percent, man. R.I.P. P.N.B. Man, trust me. That happens. Cause yeah, motherfucker think it's about being a shooter or a killer. Music played a part. But music won 100% why everybody doing this. It's your fucking mama and your fucking daddy. You get what I'm saying? It's your mama and your daddy, bro. It's not, it usually be your environment, but it's your mama and your fucking daddy. It's about how you getting raised, blood. Like, 
raise your fucking keep this right. Oh, oh. I don't think it's drill music at all. I promise you. If if we was to take drill music away right now, and it be regular hip hop, it's still gonna be the same type of violence. Everybody wants to do. Everybody. Yeah, wants because there was killings before drill music. Yeah, but I thought old school. This makes old school. But music does influence what's good, how you feel, for sure. No, it does, yeah. Be a character now for the internet. On social media, beefing, making threats, making crazy comments, like going on live, you know, it's like, you know, waving the gun in the fucking camera. Um, you know, it's like, it, it's, it's, it's almost like a competition to see who can push it the furthest and get the most attention. Because, you know, th there is a fair amount of clout chasing. And, you know, that is a toxic element. In that way, do you think that drill is, like, bad for society? No, because the thing is, like, the, the realities of what is being discussed in that music was, was there before the music was there. Mm -hmm. The music is just an expression of that. It's just a reaction to that. Like, when you're talking about inner-city gun violence, you're talking about poverty, you're talking about poor education systems, you're talking about, like, low access to food, you're talking about low economic opportunities. Those are the kinds of solutions that you would need to apply to that situation. If you could go back in time, would you make War in Chirac again? You know, you know I've grown, was it a problem? You damn well know he's making that again, fam. That's the thing that got him out of the hood. <laughs> There's no way he's gonna be like, I'll keep myself in the hood, so these random niggas I have nothing to do with get out of the hood. Because this no guy, you're saying he's showing the, what's called a small room with three of his brothers mm. at the age of 20. Like, come on, man, he's definitely not. Well, Prince, I probably wouldn't do that again. I wouldn't do it again just because um, I think we're dealing with mental illness in Chicago. There's bad ads in this video, isn't it? Or is it just me? I'm trying to make some bags in it, man. <laughs> I hear it. Stuck in my devil way. And when you see people are kids, these people who are doing murders, like Ronald number nine was like 17, <laughs> what? doing drills and all that type of shit. It's easy to be outraged and also say, damn, how could you guys take a life so easily? But also you gotta think about the cycle of mental issues that they're having, the trauma that they're suppressing. After the success of the War in Chirac series, Academic's formula was replicated hundreds of times, creating a concentrated YouTube algorithm that turned gang drama into an online mega industry. One of the channels in this algorithm is called No Jumper, which is quite different from the War in Chirac, but nonetheless features many interviews with gang-related rappers. Do you even know about gang shit when you first moved to Florida? When did you actually become a 5-5 crip? You are widely known to be associated with the Hoovers. Some of the dudes who got caught up for this murder are like actual rappers who have videos out with, with many, many thousands of views. Again, like you say, a lot of the stories are hypothetical, but in this, this one, you actually mentioned that a specific rapper from Chicago called a girl six to. times while you were hanging out with her. Right, it just ran. You see what I'm saying? The okay. shit just because, man, you know. So, I went on the podcast and spoke to the host, Adam22, about the ethics of producing monetized gang content. Do you think drill music is uh, bad for society? Yeah, definitely. How come? Because people are in gangs killing. But then, if you feel like it's bad, then why would you be pushing it? Because, like, example, everyone knows rape is bad, so no one pushes that. Yeah, exactly. But, but even what's going with movies, that means movies will be bad, and what's called bad too, because they're pushing that what's called pushing something. Yeah each other and making songs about it and making it sound super cool and even me as like a 38 year old fucking white man i listen to it and i think that it sounds kind of cool and I, I struggle with that but definitely i think it's probably as much as i like listen to it it's probably got to be a net negative for society right just, th just the romanticization of violence in general do you think you help make it look cool mm, i don't know i feel like when they're on a beat with a fucking 808 going crazy and they're able to like rhyme and make less sense that that probably is like when it sounds coolest because they don't really talk about that in interviews right i mean he, did, he didn't even ask the question but see we need to do a film and see, people know that i've heard that i've read but they pushing it money goes above people's minds facts but remember these men ain't even killing for money they're just killing to kill they're just killing because they're the ops which i understand due right. to like they're really in the war like if you're getting in the shootout every day you're in the war just like Iraq. Most like the all this shit. But this guy needs to take some accountability. Yeah. Chicago like gang members or whatever. It's like the amount of like street shit you're gonna be able to get him to talk about. That, he's he's pretty, giving them a platform anyway. He's like, giving them a platform. Yeah. yeah he's pushing it. Yeah. And and at the end of the day, if he thought it was so wrong, 
Yeah. If I go on his platform and I start dissing, he's going to take that diss and pull it everywhere exactly. to make his interview run up more. Yeah, he ain't going to take it out so it's like it kills down the beef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, this guy ain't dissing me, did he? Yeah. He's going to pull it everywhere so it's like... That stuff sells in, man. Exactly. Minimal in comparison to the stuff that they're essentially saying in their songs. It just must be crazy because like, you talk to so many people who like have died recently. <laughs> Like you're you're like the last person to interview um FBG Cash. Right there. His name's on the wall. Yeah. Hmm. Do you feel any responsibility for like inflaming like gang beef by having so many gang members use this platform to promote themselves? No, because I mean I feel like this is a hip hop platform that long ago has kind of been clear to me that that's more or less the the gist of what we're doing. You know, like there was a long time where I didn't. Reason being, I would say like. He is one of the ones that like inflamed it due to the questions he asks. He don't even ask people about like, their music. He just asks is like so How mean... was it when you killed that guy? What? How is that gonna do anything, bro? You're not asking about my career. Majority of the questions they ask is like to build it to make it clips into like diverting more traffic their way. Yeah. Cause as as because as people know, violent souls. Yeah. But it's bigger than violence because if they think it's just about like um yeah if they think it's just about like oh i'm putting these guys on my platform to help push their career if that was the case you wouldn't be asking so much like from questions that might get them locked up or make them start beef even more if that makes sense yeah fans want it and they know it what he well he ain't trying to put them on a positive path and do any street shit. You know, in the beginning it was mostly like SoundCloud type stuff and more like avant-garde, you know, internet shit. We've gone more in that direction and like a lot of, like, it's also the direction rap's gone in. It's, it's tough to get away from the fact that the fans just want what they want. You know, as a content creator, you kind of have to follow the incentives to a certain extent. Bro, it's bigger than the fans do. Because like, example, the fans live a million miles away from the beef. <laughs> The, the the questions you're asking is direct questions to whatever op, and now they got reply with gunshots, bro. It's just been taken to the point where the fans like want this shit to be real. They don't want to hear you say, "I'll I'll shoot you if you, if you come near me." They want to hear you say, "So and so from the other side got killed because he fucked with me." Like the fans are really drawn to that kind of. Immersion, I guess. Whenever you grew up here, did you guys spend a lot of time in other parts of Chicago? Like, did you ever go like downtown or to other areas, or were you mostly here? Man, I, I spent a lot of years inside this gate. Have you been to a, like, a Cubs game or anything? No. You guys want to go to the White Sox game with us? Fact. Yeah, yeah, we go. White Sox, White Sox, White Sox, White Sox, White Sox. Yeah. Fuck the Cubs, fuck the Orioles, fuck the Yankees, White Sox. Faster. Safer, yours. There's no place like Chrome. With a cooker tap, you always have 100 degrees boiling, filtered chilled and sparkling water. Yeah. Oh. I've never been to a football game, my life. White Sox! White Sox! White Sox! White Sox! What? Southside pride, that blue collar man. Like the South Side's way better than the North Side. Never wear condoms unless you have to. <laughs> What's the situation in which you'd have to use a condom? Every time. Never. Never. <laughs> I'm married, What's so I haven't actually used condoms in 15 years. <laughs> Raw dog stands for Jack Harlow. Jack Harlow only. Sorry, boss top. What, what do you think about condoms? What do I think about condoms? I got six kids right there. Raw dog, all day long. Six. Damn. And he's living on the block. Nah, bro. Hey, is somebody save him, man. Yeah, he should have he been off the block. Like, uh, from, don't even save him for him. Save him for his kids. So, like, his kids don't go down that path. Jack Harlow is not my type. What makes White Sox fans different from other fans? Sometimes they wear white socks, but not on a regular basis. Loyalty. Why? Why? Are you guys from Chicago? No. No? no? Exactly. What do you think your most controversial opinion is? Like, what do you mean about that? For example, I believe that aliens have visited the United States of America. Nice. So do I. Uh, I also believe that the Earth is not, it, it's not round. I also believe that the government is hiding a lot of shit from us. I also believe that the government has taken over our 
you know, our country. And like, you think the earth is flat for real? Huh? You think the earth is I flat? I mean, we have ideology, right? We have ideas. So, like, who who are we to judge? White Sox hamburgers, Comiskey dog, right here. We got two patties, two scoops of cheddar cheese, and we put the pico and the gaia on top. Say it ain't so, Joe. Hamburger, half a hot dog, hot Five songs. Bro, we I digitally. Know about, I know why, so I'm trying to we actually know made it. Myself. Is, it, is it done then? Not a Should I put on that pussy and white and I'm I'm ready to push out the Okay. So, d what do you think about that? It's a sad reality, isn't it, man? Yeah. It's real life. Obviously, yeah, man, we, we've all seen it because, like, the world's built off of, like, UK drill, right? UK drill, U US drill as a whole. Like, obviously, these men was the ones to create it. Then, like, we added ourselves and run with it now. And then every other country or, or every other state has got, like, their own type of drill. Every other country's got their own type of drill. Yeah, literally everyone. So, like, the word drill has gone bigger than what it was going to be crazy still but flipping um from tell us what you think about it yourself in the comments it has been bam and bam andy bag and reacting to just it's called o block it's on what's the channel it's on channel five with andrew from callahan and yeah man we're out peace